June 28th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, 1 Chronicles chapters 24 and 25 from the Old Testament. The divisions of Aaron's descendants were as follows. The sons of Aaron, Nadab, Abihu, Eleazar, and Ithamar. Nadab and Abihu died before their father did. They had no sons. Eleazar and Ithamar served as priests. David, Zadok, a descendant of Eleazar, and Ahimelech, a descendant of Ithamar, divided them into groups to carry out their assigned responsibilities. The descendants of Eleazar had more leaders than the descendants of Ithamar, so they divided them up accordingly. The descendants of Eleazar had 16 leaders, while the descendants of Ithamar had 8. They divided them by lots, for there were officials of the holy place and officials designated by God among the descendants of both Eleazar and Ithamar. The scribe Shemaiah, son of Nathanael, a Levite, wrote down their names before the king, the officials, Zadok the priest, Ahimelech, son of Abiathar, and the leaders of the priestly and Levite families. One family was drawn by lot from Eleazar, and then the next from Ithamar. The first lot went to Jehoiarib, the second to Judea, the third to Haram, the fourth to Seorim, the fifth to Malchijah, the sixth to Mijamin, the seventh to Hakaz, the eighth to Abijah, the ninth to Jeshua, the tenth to Shechaniah, the eleventh to Eliashib, the twelfth to Jacob, the thirteenth to Hapa, the fourteenth to Jeshebiab, the fifteenth to Bilga, the sixteenth to Immer, the seventeenth to Hezer, the eighteenth to Hapazes, the nineteenth to Pethahiah, the twentieth to Jehezekiel, the twenty-first to Jachin, the twenty-second to Gamal, the twenty-third to Deleah, the twenty-fourth to Maaziah. This was the order in which they carried out their assigned responsibilities when they entered the Lord's temple, according to the regulations given them by their ancestor Aaron, just as the Lord God of Israel had instructed him. The rest of the Levites included Shubael from the sons of Amram, Judea from the sons of Shubael, the firstborn Ishiah from Rehabiah, and the sons of Rehabiah, Shilomoth from the Izharites, Jahath from the sons of Shalomoth, the sons of Hebron, Jeriah, Amariah the second, Jehaziel the third, and Jechamiam the fourth, the son of Aziel, Micah, Shamer from the sons of Micah, the brother of Micah, Ishiah, Zechariah from the sons of Ishiah, the sons of Mirai, Malai, and Mushai, the son of Jeaziah, Bino, the sons of Mirai from Jeaziah, Bino, Shoham, Zachar, and Ibrai, from Malai, Eleazar, who had no sons, from Kish, Jeremiel, the sons of Mushai, Malai, Eder, and Jerimoth. These were the Levites listed by their families. Just like their relatives, the descendants of Aaron, they also cast lots before King David, Zadok, Ahimelech, the leaders of families, the priests, and the Levites. The families of the oldest son cast lots along with those of the youngest. David and the army officers selected some of the sons of Asaph, Heman, and Jeduthun to prophesy as they played stringed instruments and cymbals. The following men were assigned this responsibility. From the sons of Asaph, Zachar, Joseph, Nathaniah, and Asarela. The sons of Asaph were supervised by Asaph, who prophesied under the king's supervision. 
from the sons of Jeduthun, Gedaliah, Zerai, Jesheah, Hashabiah, and Mattithiah, six in all under supervision of their father Jeduthun, who prophesied as he played a harp, giving thanks and praise to the Lord. From the sons of Heman, Bukiah, Mattaniah, Uziel, Shabuel, Jerimoth, Hananiah, Hanani, Elitha, Gidaltai, Roman Teezer, Josh Bikesha, Malothai, Hother, and Mahazioth. All these were the sons of Heman, the king's prophet. God had promised him these sons in order to make him prestigious. God gave Heman fourteen sons and three daughters. All of these were under the supervision of their fathers. They were musicians in the Lord's temple, playing cymbals and stringed instruments as they served in God's temple. Asaph, Jeduthun, and Heman were under the supervision of the king. They and their relatives, all of them skilled and trained to make music to the Lord, numbered 288. They cast lots to determine their responsibilities, oldest as well as youngest, teacher as well as student. The first lot went to Asaph's son Joseph and his relatives and sons, twelve in all. The second to Gedaliah and his relatives and sons, twelve in all. The third to Zachar and his sons and relatives, twelve in all. The fourth to Isri and his sons and relatives, twelve in all. The fifth to Nethaniah and his sons and relatives, twelve in all. The sixth to Bukiah and his sons and relatives, twelve in all. The seventh to Jeshabriel and his sons and relatives, twelve in all. The eighth to Jeshiah and his sons and relatives, twelve in all. The ninth to Mattaniah and his sons and relatives, twelve in all. The tenth to Shimei and his sons and relatives, twelve in all. The eleventh to Azarel and his sons and relatives, twelve in all. The twelfth to Hashabiah and his sons and relatives, twelve in all. The thirteenth to Shubael and his sons and relatives, twelve in all. The fourteenth to Mattathiah and his sons and relatives, twelve in all. The fifteenth to Jerimoth and his sons and relatives, twelve in all. The sixteenth to Hananiah and his sons and relatives, twelve in all. The seventeenth to Josh Bikesha and his sons and relatives, twelve in all. The eighteenth to Hananiah and his sons and relatives, twelve in all. The nineteenth to Malothai and his sons and relatives, twelve in all. The twentieth to Eliatha and his sons and relatives, twelve in all. The twenty-first to Hother and his sons and relatives, twelve in all. The twenty-second to Gidaltai and his sons and relatives, twelve in all. The twenty-third to Mahazioth and his sons and relatives, twelve in all. The twenty-fourth to Roma to Ezer and his sons and relatives, twelve in all. God, it was interesting when I was studying these lists of people and all the preparations that David was doing to uh, get the temple completely ready uh, to go for his son. What was fascinating to me is he set aside 24 divisions for this particular temple work, sort of like a job to do list, and each of them were to serve two weeks. Well, 24 times two is 48, 48 weeks. And so pretty easy to tell that they had a different calendar than what we had. They had a lunar calendar of 48 weeks as opposed to our one that is 52 weeks. And it reminds me so well 
how much a true slave we are to time here in this world. Uh, we have to be here at a certain time. We have to go there at a certain time. We have to do this in a certain allotted time. Um, we have to get married by this point. We have to have children by this point. We have to finish school by this point. We just have all of these time pieces that are built into our lives. Yet time is created by us. Um, it's not created by you. Uh, unlimited is your word for time. And so... I think in our urgency and our hurriedness to get so many things done every single day that we forget that the person who gave us that concept of time was you and that all of our work here on earth, whether it be for fun or business or family or whatever that looks like, should always start and end with you. You are the keeper of all time, endless time. And so we wouldn't have any of these activities or duties or responsibilities without you, God. And I think we forget that. We're in such a hurry all of the time to get things done and to do things. And, and we know that we have a finite amount of time. Yet we have to remember that as Christians, we have an infinite amount of time. Because our infinity gets to spend that entire so-called time worshiping you and glorifying you. And our time here on earth, that should be no different. God, I just praise you for your endless time. I apologize for us putting a finite amount on it, amount on it and making that important in our lives. God, allow me to see what my priority should be. That it should always be what you want first, your will first, your glory first. Because with you, all things are possible. Doesn't say in the next five minutes, doesn't say in the next five years. But it does say with you, all things are possible. God, thank you so much for the time we do have here on earth to do your will. And for the endless amount of time we get to spend in heaven with you. In your son's name we pray. Amen. <music>